Thanks for joining us. In today's experiment, we're learning about color mixing using our exclusive subtractive color theory demonstration kit. The subtractive color theory demo comes with a 12 by 12 LED light box and two sets of colored filters. Each set has three red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow filters. History says that in 1665, Isaac Newton discovered that white light could be split into the colors of the rainbow when passed through a prism. In 1775, George Palmer proposed that there were three different receptors in the retina that could perceive hues of red, green, and blue. Then, in the early 19th century, Thomas Young elaborated on this concept by proposing a theory that light was composed of waves and that each color has its own wavelength. However, it wasn't until the 1860s that German scientist Hermann von Helmholtz proved that the short wavelength cones in the eye perceive blue colors best, the medium length cones perceive greens the best, and the longest cones perceive red colors. This theory became known as the trichromatic theory of color vision. Since the cones in our eyes perceive these three colors of red, green, and blue, they are considered primary colors in additive color mixing. Your computer monitor, TV, and phones all use additive color mixing. If you were to combine all the primary colors, you would end up with white. However, this is only true if you're using light to mix color. If you were to take the primary colors and mix different combinations together, you'd create colors of cyan, magenta, and yellow, known as secondary colors. The CMY model uses absorption of pigments to create subtractive color mixing. When light passes through the color filters, some parts of the spectrum's wavelengths are absorbed or subtracted, while others pass through. Subtractive color mixing can be found in magazines, advertisements, and other printed material. And just as additive colors can create subtractive colors, the reverse can be done. Mixing subtractive colors can create primary colors. Now that we've learned a bit about color mixing, time to play a game. We talked earlier about how it's possible to create primary colors from secondary colors, so that's going to be our first experiment. Start with one column each of magenta, cyan, and yellow. Now using only three yellow, two cyan, and three magenta filters, place them on top so that there are three blue, three green, and two red, leaving only one space yellow. Let's start with the magenta column first. If we take a look at the color wheel and we locate magenta, we'll see that across from that is green. When colors are across from each other, it's an easy way to remember which color is absorbed. So, magenta absorbs green, leaving red and blue to show through. In this case, we would need to place a yellow filter on top because yellow is absorbing the blue, which we can confirm by looking at the color wheel again. So, when the yellow is added, only red light is visible. Let's move on to the cyan column. The cyan filter is absorbing red color and allowing green and blue to pass through. So we would need to place a magenta on top because we now know that magenta allows red and blue to pass through. And when placed on top, it turns blue. Now for the last two yellow filters, we already know that cyan allows green and blue to pass through. But yellow filters absorb blue and allow red and green to pass through. So when we place the cyan on top, the color becomes green. And for the final yellow, we'll just leave it as it is. Let's try another one. Start with magenta, cyan, and yellow, like in the first experiment. Using three green, three red, and two blue filters, arrange the board to produce a nearly completely blacked out pattern like this. Let's start with the yellow filters first. From everything we've learned so far, we know that yellow filters absorb blue. So if we were to use the blue filter, our result should be black. For the cyan, we know that it absorbs red, which gives us our black. And finally, the magenta absorbs green. And what do you know, that's the last filter we have. Today we've learned a little about subtractive and additive color mixing using a few puzzles. But what's also cool about this device is you could create your own color combinations or experiments. Let us know in the comments below what you come up with. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future releases. Until next time, have fun learning.